all right we're getting back again working on the bsr uh i've seen somebody remove let's see if we get a light on that i've seen someone cut this off up here and uh have this all wide open and just the light hanging out which is pretty nice looking but i don't like the mud flinging everywhere especially when i go off road so i just left it on i'm not into extreme motorsports anymore i'm just into simple trail riding due to my back medical conditions explain that another day another video uh <clears throat> so i'm gonna hook up these lights here i got uh two of these they were hooked together uh from the philippines when i was there last and they they flash back and forth like police lights with a little box attached and so far in america you're not allowed to have flashing red or blue lights so i was looking for yellow but they couldn't get yellow so i had to disconnect the box now i'm just going to use it as a, an additional brake light because this is up here and i always like people to see me stop you know additional lights always nice so I'm going to, I bent the the metal flange here, it was flat, horizontal with the uh, metal ring, bent it vertical so that I could just simply hook it up to my license plate here, and then I'll put an additional bolt on that side, and then I'm going to wire it to the tail light. So I have one there, one over here. I'm going to just hopefully hook it up as a stop light, not a running light. So we'll see how it goes. All right, getting that uh, back tail light out is not as easy as it looks. Got to remove the seat. It's got a nut down here, right here, and one on the other side. And then it still doesn't want to come off. You just got to kind of grab it and wiggle it side to side and backwards, and it'll pop off because of the clip right here holding in place. Then you got to remove these two nuts and I think if they're not spinning below you can't see feels like they're getting loose this is all um, new to me I haven't looked at any videos on this yet, so maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong on this one, but get those nuts out. Put them up where I know they're at. Bracket comes out for the seat. Looks pretty loose. That's quite a squeal there. All right, let me uh, get back with you again and figure out what's holding this on. Okay, this one has been a very tricky one for me. I'm trying to take off this this uh, <laughs> tail light so I can hook up my running lights got a plastic piece up here that holds all this together but I can't figure out how to get it out so I took off the uh, license plate uh, light just to see what's under here and uh, nothing I couldn't get this thing out so I had to go underneath here uh, actually this is the uh, the seat where the seat would be I unbolted the uh, hold rails, handle rails, and we reached under in here to get uh, two nuts that were in here to loosen up this light casing, brake casing. That didn't do anything for me. So I'm trying to figure out how to get this, this cover here off. There's nothing holding it on. Uh, it's all loose, but I couldn't figure out how to get this thing off. Then I thought, hmm, this looks like it's popped on there so I tried prying a little bit and sure enough popped right off so these four nuts take off this whole top unit 
first take off the seat take off uh, these four bolts and you should be able to get to the tail light wiring here now we're gonna try that it's been uh, <laughs> taking everything off trying to figure this thing out so hold on we'll see what happens when I get these things loosened up all right bolts loosened lifts up I don't want to disconnect my wires so I'm just gonna spin it around set her down there don't want to lose my bolts either and now you can get into the unit with the brake light longer than necessary but now I know now you know simply take off the seat just take off the seat and disconnect these four bolts here and this piece comes off and you're underneath the whole axis of the bike you don't have to take off the uh, arm brackets but this one was loose for me anyways so I get to get in here and tighten it up <clears throat> alright I'll get back to you when I got the lights hooked up and the rest of it put back on thanks for watching through my disaster here so this has been a little bit of extra work than I planned on I just thought I'd come out here and hook up some quick wires and bolt it on and be done but turned out to be a little bit more of a job than I expected but some people if you think like I do you think of course it's me it's gonna happen that way so probably another 25 minutes to put it all back together after I get the wires done and that could take me about probably 10 minutes to figure out which wires are running where and if I want to have it uh, on with the blinkers or with the brake light I haven't decided yet I'm thinking probably with the brake light that way people will know whoa bright lights he's stopping but we'll see be back all right, got the two lights down here hooked up. Can't really uh, show you the brightness of it unless I put the camera down somehow. <laughs> Let's see if I can prop it over here. Prop it over here. I'll go turn on the brake lights. Running light. See, it's pretty dim. Try the brake lights. They're pretty bright. And I angled them down to the ground more so that they wouldn't blind the uh, drivers behind me. I don't want to get in trouble for that. So, nice thing about this bike, I like, it's got the uh, emergency flashers on it. I was thinking about hooking it up to them as they flash as well. But again, it's red flashing. I don't know if I get in trouble for that. So, that's uh, the lights hooked up. A little longer than I expected, but it worked out all right. Again, enjoy the ride.